hey there everyone so uh, in this video let's talk a bit more about migrations but before that i just want to show you guys like how you can change this uh, name of the table here so if you go back into the code and inside the articles model you just need to annotate it with map and pass the name of the table so i like to keep my table name as a small case lower case and uh, in a plural form so it will be articles and once you do that uh, you again have to run that same command which is npx prisma migrate dev uh, it will ask you to like uh, enter the name of migration so just say it as change table name and like it will generate one more migration for you which is this and if you go into the client and refresh it it will say that articles so you might be asking like why can't we uh, directly change the name of the table here so that's the whole point of migrations here consider it as a git so if you have worked in a git it like helps you to keep track of changes that you made in your projects in the same way migration helps you to keep track of the changes that you make in a database so all the changes related to the database structure like adding more columns changing the type of column adding new tables these are done through migration so that you can go back in time and change uh, anything that you like so and also if you are like working in a team it helps to like keep database in sync with all the local machines and all these things so that's all migration is so if you are if you are planning to make any changes in the structure of your database uh, migration is required so that's all about migrations uh, one more thing like if you don't want to use this uh, client uh, prisma provides you with an other alternative solution so if you go into this get started you can see that uh, we have this prisma studio so to run this prisma studio what you have to do is simple type the command npx prisma and studio and it will like open this uh, ui for you here you can see that we have this article table and you can perform all the, all the things right from here you can add the record and just save it you can just select a record delete one record so all the CRUD operations and other things you can perform right from here we'll explore this uh, in more detail once we move forward in this course so if like in case you don't want to use any client this is the good way to go